Maybe we 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 I haven't done it before. What? Yes. This is your first time? Yes. I, I wanted to give you a gift. <laughs> Whoa! All right! Me. Me. Now I want to give <laughs> more. Mm. 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 Where is my wife? She's getting better. I want to see my wife. I relax, I will take you to her. You'll be alright. Don't force it, don't force it. Oh, she'll be alright.
my Milwaukee game. Of course you will. You will. No. No, I won't. My whole world has gone cold. I lost everything within a year. My father, my legs, and someone somewhere says there's a God that he is fair. Don't talk like that, okay? Of course there is a God and he's fair. No, he is not. He is not fair. Tell me. What kind of God derives joy from pains of mortal men? He took everything away from me. It's okay, just stop it already. <laughs> Did I tell you? You are the most beautiful woman on the face of earth. You flatter me. No, I'm not flattering you. Come on. I'm not. Look at you. You beautiful soul. Your smile, your eyes, your baby nose. <laughs> You know what? I think I know what which year you up. Come on, let's go. What is it? You'll find out. Why didn't you call me to help you? I mustn't call you for little things as easy myself. Really? But you really need to put your safety first. I need to learn to do things on my own. Not until you fully recover. My babe, you, you'll be going back to the office soon. I can't practically wait for you before I can get things done. I'll sort that out. I'll get you a maid and a cook. Is that really necessary? Yes. Claire, yes, it is very, very necessary. It's necessary. What, you want people to, to label me? Well, my cousin Nancy is coming over to the house. She wants to spend some time with us. Still doesn't change anything. I will get you a maid and a cook. What is it? To ease myself. Can you just tell me? 
What exactly is your plan to make me look like a bad person? I, I, I really don't understand you. Like you enjoy making me look bad. have improved. Root. <laughs> Which root? I beg, I feel. <sighs> Babe, I'm not ready to mix my life with all this. Drive carefully. Many have gone too soon. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Please, I love my life. God forbid it won't happen. Yes, so. And you know what? I am here to stay. A team chop life gang. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you. So tell me. How have you been? I am not fine, Nancy. And you know I am still mad at you. Come on, cuz. Look, I already apologize. Hmm? You and I know that Chancy, Nancy, would have painted our wedding red, right? <laughs> But look, I had exams to write. I am sorry. Look what that day turned out to be. I haven't walked since then. And I don't think I will ever walk again. Shh. Come on. Tell me where lies your faith and optimism. I am not saying I'm a pastor or anything. But if there is one thing I believe in, that is miracle. And the good book says we can only see his manifestation is by having faith, even if it's as tiny as a mustard seed. Okay, I don't even know what to believe anymore, let alone have faith. Uh. Don't worry, you will be sure of what to believe by the time I am done with you. Meanwhile, I got something for you. Come. I hope you got yeah. my dress. I hope that Of dress. course, you should trust me on that. <laughs> I hope you did. Let me show you something. I'm sure you would love this one. <laughs> mm. So how is she? Alan is just there. What did you just say? Look, I think I made a big mistake. How do you mean? It's all the thing, everything that has been happening. I'm starting to think getting married to Claire is a very, very big mistake. James, are you okay? We draw that statement fast. What do you mean withdraw that statement? I'm telling you my problem. You're asking me to withdraw my statement. Do I look happy to you? Come on, James. It's nobody's fault. Blame it on circumstance. Exactly. I will blame it on circumstances. It's the reason why I've become a house husband. I cook, I clean, I wash. I do everything possible to make her comfortable, to make her happy. But when it gets to the point where we need to play, and when I say play, you know what I mean. Come on, Nick. 
You know me. I'm not normal. I don't ball like the regular guy. I'm a monster. I'm like a raging bull when it comes to the game. But look at her. She was even fragile before the accident. How am I supposed to put up with that? I look at her and it's like she's literally going to break in my hands. I can't picture going inside of her. She might just start to tear up. I don't know. Because I don't understand. What if I tell you that I have not touched her since we got married? Why? Claire has never been with a man before. Our wedding night was supposed to be everything. It was supposed to be special. All we dreamt of. We had spoken about it several times. She understands my kind of person, how I like it. But just before we started, she, she started hesitating. And then the call came in with the news of our father's involvement in an accident. You needed to see me, bro. I went from rock solid to limp in seconds. Wait a minute, uh, James. Uh, are you trying to tell me that she's still intact the way she came in? Or you don't want to touch her because of her condition? Yeah. Come on, are you, are you are you okay? Why are you allowing this woman to pass through emotional trauma and you don't see wrong in that? What exactly is your problem? Tell me, Nick, what exactly is your problem? I'm here pouring out my feelings to you, telling you my predicaments, and you're not even bothered how your guy is holding up. Instead, you're worried about her. Oh man, please go home and make your wife a woman. I know you're here telling me what I don't know. Now for you. When you're ready, we'll talk about something else. So, Claire, you mean you're telling me that James has been the one doing the cooking since you guys got married? Yes. Wow. And honestly, he has been trying. But lately, I can read his frustrations. So why don't you guys get a maid and a cook? At least that way it will make life easier for the both of you. And you people will have ample time to bond. Well, he's been trying to get one though. But I've been the one opposing it. Why? Nothing. Oh God, Chuku. Oh God, Chuku. <laughs> See, you better allow him get that meat and cook up. Because it will make life easy for the both of you. <laughs> if I were to be married there, eh? if I would even see someone that would be beating me, trust me, <laughs> I would do it. <laughs> Nancy. Mm -hmm. You can call it Chancy, Fancy, Nancy. <laughs> You haven't changed. Ah, hmm. I'm serious. Though. <laughs> you know me. I cannot come out so far in this life. Like, <laughs> like. Hmm. Well, hi, hi, James. Uh, I didn't know you were back. And I didn't know you were coming either. Um, but honey, I told you she was going to come before. I see. You're welcome. Thank you. What? Come on, I am not blind. Hey, what was that court reception about? N nothing. Nothing. And then he just walked in, no hugs, 
no kisses, no pegs, and you're telling me all is fine? Claire, talk to me. What is going Claire? You crying? Claire. Does he hit you? Please tell me what is going on. is ready. I'm not hungry. James. James, what is your problem? Can't you see that girl is trying to do everything to make you happy? But you just hell bent on frustrating her. Why? Listen, young lady. Nancy. Nancy is the name, not the young lady. And I do not care what your name is. You do not come into my house and tell me how to run it. Now listen to me. If your short visit is going to be a good one, it's best you stay away from my business. Request. What is it? Can't you see that I'm tired? Babe, you haven't touched me since we got married. I love to enjoy sex. Not endure it. You haven't even done it. How do you know you will not enjoy it? Oh, come on. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Please. I need you to make me a woman. How? How? Clay, tell me. How? This condition? How am I supposed to do that? We had many, many conversations about how I like sex before we got married. I told you I'm like a raging bull. I like it wild. I, I like it crazy. Look at you. How am I supposed to put up with that? I can't, I can't even think of it. If I touch you the way I want to, you might just break. And what's worse, my entire testosterone levels just gone to zero. Please, please, I beg you, please deny me this, please. I am not denying you anything. We've never even had it, so I can't deny you of anything. Can we not talk about it? It's, it's awkward, please. 
put all this? Is it that you don't want me to sleep here? That's what you want, right? That's what you want. It's okay. I'll just go downstairs. The sex is supposed to be between two hyped people. It's a physical and emotional exercise between two really pumped up people, not one. What if I told you life is unpredictable? Would you believe me? Would you believe me? The trials and sorrows are inevitable. Do you believe me? Would you believe me? How do I explain? Yesterday I dreamt of a better tomorrow. But today I'm freaking out. My world is falling down. Things are not the same. I have lost every little hope for tomorrow. Cause today I'm freaking out. If he doesn't buy a Benz and a diamond ring. No woman should say yes to his proposal. And he must also get on his knees too. And if he refuses? Then he should forget it. Trust me, you are not ready to settle down. Well, on the contrary, I am not ready to settle for less. So this is my home. You're welcome. This is where you'll be working. That's your madam. Um, I'll show you to the kitchen and then the boys' quarters where you'll be staying. A cook and a maid? Wow. Your husband is really something. Well, I think I like the girl. But that fat guy, I am still trying to figure out what he can do. Hmm? You, you called us, ma. That is what you will be wearing in this house. If it doesn't fit, then you will amend it. Tell me. Fat boy, what is your name? Uh, <clears throat> not fat though, I'm chubby. The name is uh, Bonaventure, bombshell worldwide. You know, this person you're looking here is not a boy. I'm a full package, I'm a man. A man? <laughs> Wonders shall never end. And you, young lady, what is your name? My name is Ijoma, and I'm the maid. Maid? Well, you look the part. <laughs> Anyways, you, go to the kitchen and make something really nice and edible. And you, get to work. Okay. 
Oh, wow. What a monster. One, two, three. Look who gets it. By somebody's bedroom. All right. Everything is here. Gas is here. Champagne. Spoons, plates. Exactly. I'm confused now. I don't even know what I will cook. The way I'm confused, my brother. This is the time I have to consult God. Just have to pick a plate, pick a bowl. Put water in it. Put it on fire. Let the water boil. Let it boil. Let me see vapor. Let me consult God. And at this moment, I need nobody. I need nobody but you, Father. Today is my first day. Father, don't let me disgrace myself, Father. Anything I prepare, Father. Any sort I take, Father. Don't let me take more than. Because I know myself, I might take more than, but, you know, I'll be stable. But I need you. Holy God. <laughs> Such a amazing King Jesus. Holy Ghost, that fire be my boo. Ah, Holy Ghost, that fire be my boo. Holy Ghost. Such a new King Jesus. Just, just, just say. People don't need this house. House they like waiting people won't come off from. Ordinary to clean, they don't fit clean. See, as everywhere they dusty, like people they don't come out since. But they do say, let's say, say, let's say, they come out everywhere. Hey! And what did you just say? I. I. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? I, you what? I, I, I was talking to myself. I see. You know, how am I even sure that James checked your mental well-being before employing you? Because if I were to be honest, you were exhibiting all signs of insanity. I, I did not train for it. Anyways, when you're done, there are clothes for you out there to wash. Yes, I'm sorry. What did you just call me? Are you okay? Better. Now get back to work. On adventure. And where do you think you're going to? I wanted uh, to a microwave there. Microwave what? Hmm? So who is going to serve your madam? Sir, sir, ma. <clears throat> ah, madam, this is this the love I'm with her. Grilled chicken with plantain. Bon adventure. Hey, get out! Get out of this place! Talk, 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 talking, talking anyhow. I see. <laughs> what? That wasn't necessary. Claire, I mean, that guy talks too much. It's, he talks way too much. <clears throat> I just hope you'll be able to cope. Because honestly, he's beginning to irritate me. 
Just like that? Yes, just like that. Especially when it's becoming more irritating. I mean, can you just help me with this? Thank you. Before you realize your, your, your armpit, your armpit. Bona? Uh huh. Did you really make this food? Uh huh. This, this question you are asking is very pure. Uh, why, why are you asking? Because this food does not resemble you at all. Really. At all. No, I don't. I don't get it. What do, What do you mean by that? Bona, mm -hmm. look at this food. Yeah, I'm watching. It's jollof. Mm -hmm. Bona, this food looks good, and it tastes really, really good too. Mm. You're gonna do something like this now. Mm -mm. It's not in you. This mm -hmm. food, food it tastes nice. <laughs> Wait, hey, 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 what, what, what are you implying now? No, are you trying to tell me that? I'm not fine. Like, I'm not a fine person. Did anybody tell you you're fine? Hey! <laughs> One, two, three. Bono venture. Worldwide. Oh. Boom, share. No, look at me from head to toe. I'm telling you, handsomeness. Tom no people. Sit back. Head up. I just rented to me. Look, just look at me. <laughs> just look, look. Hello. Bono. Have you seen this dad? When he fall from tree or from house or from anywhere, when he falls to the ground. Uh -huh. Have you seen this? Yeah. How does he behave? When they fall, they, they will like this. Not the head that been and yeah. that what limb. Like that is what you just did. When we that fall, nobody go home and just do their own. Hands himself. If you are fine, you don't need like you don't need to be telling yourself, I'm fine. I'm fine. See, when people will see, they'll say, ah. This man fine. You know see a wonga. You know see wonga. Wonga. Oh, oh, that. fine. Wonga fine. Wonga fine. Eh? Shut up. See black man with fine pointed nose. See head shape. Everything day unison. See you now. Oh. Your head round. Then you gonna get small eyes. Oh. With nose very big, small, with very small oh. mouth. My head look Just like fufu, where they put eye and mouth with nose. Round. See your gun as better man with fine body. You dare to deceive yourself. I love you looking. You look like you. Oh, now the lady be this one. Oh God, fine. I know I'm not fine though. Ah. You put hope in God. The only thing your food is your food is really nice. Just put your hope in God then and stop making mouth. Bon adventure. Oh, this one. Come here. You go ahead and divorce her. Why would you say that? As a man, you can marry as many wives as you can. I mean, as much as you want. I wish it was that simple. I really want to walk away, but I can't help but think about what people would say. Are you kidding me? At this your age, you are worried about what people will say? Come on. It's your life. Your marriage. You're the only one who wears the shoes. I know where it pinches you. If you're not happy, bounce. Take a walk. Walk away from your dear life. What are you saying? It's not that straightforward. Thing is, if I'm to get anything out of that marriage, I have to remain in it for the next 10 years. Else I get absolutely nothing. At least that's what I heard our father tell her and the lawyer. Whoa, whoa. I don't understand you. 
Are you trying to say you got involved in this marriage because of her family wealth? Are you serious? For crying out loud, do you know what 10 years is? 10 years is not 10 days. <laughs> Neither is it 10 months. Listen to me. You just need to walk away. Because in 10 years' time, my brother, you will have been able to work out a fortune for yourself. My friend, stop this your stupid talk. You call it stupid talk? You call it stupid? Okay, listen, let me tell you. If you must know, men are polygamous in nature. I mean, that means it's in our blood to taste different cuisine. Yes. <laughs> Now tell me, when you have so many fishes in the river, why would you just stick to this prison of yours called marriage? Why? James, it seems you're beginning to consider divorce because that beautiful woman is incapacitated. But let me make it clear to you. The moment you call for divorce, Consider this friendship over. No, no, no. Wait. You don't want to tell me you're worried about it. No, no, tell me. How much money has your friendship with him been able to put in your, in your, in your pocket? No, tell me. Now listen, let me tell you. If you need me to help you prepare a divorce later, I will do that for you. For free. But okay. Nonsense. Let him go. Let him go. <sighs> Sophia. Are you leaving anytime soon? Honestly, I don't want to go home. And why is that? What is there to go to? Men like you are the reason their women take control of their home. Whatever. Are you sorry? Are you leaving? Yes, I'll have to go and uh, see a very good friend of mine and pick up something from her. Her? Yes, her. Mm. But you didn't come out with your car. Oh, well, don't worry about that. I'll pick a cab. Mm, safe to say, I can be your driver for the night before I decide to retire home late. Oh, well, it's your choice, but mind you, I'm not paying you a dime. I know, broke ass, it's free. <laughs> well, I'll be doing you a favor for, for hanging out with your bored ass. Oh, <laughs> uh, waiter, please get your bill. What if I told you life is unpredictable? Would you believe me? Would you believe me? The trials and sorrows are inevitable. Do you believe me? Would you believe me? How do I explain? Yesterday I dreamt of a better tomorrow. But today I'm freaking out. My world is falling down. Things are not the same. I have lost every little hope for tomorrow. Cause today I'm freaking out. Hold on. I thought you were not going to come again. Why is that? Because I told you I'd be stopping by. Okay. Sit while I go get it. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. The name is Sophia, not ma'am. Okay. Your friend is handsome. Oh, yeah. No, thank you. I wasn't complimenting you. Oh, yeah? It looks like someone wants to shoot that shot. But he's cute. Um, 
So tell me, how many women slide into your DM and how many try to say hi? Ouch. Don't live in a hurry. If I were you, I'd ask him if he's happily married. Ouch. Um, I will save that for another day. Please. Excuse me. Okay. Dude, what was that about? What? Why is she pretty? Hey? Huh? I just noticed you're very cute. I just noticed. And you're very stupid. <sighs> um. So, here you go. And I hope to see you some other time. Yes, yeah, sure. Sis. So you've decided to wait for someone who has refused to come home? you gone to bed? Uh, well, actually, I was trying to tidy up the kitchen and also, you know, steam the meat for tomorrow. Boy, it's late already. You need to retire. Alright. Alright. Thank you. Good night. Good night. So, um, to say a word but I was thinking if I could stay a little bit longer so I can wait for a girl. That's not necessary. Um, I, I know um, I don't have to you know flaunt your orders but uh, if you permit me I, I, I would love to stay. Thank you. So, up here. Hey! Hey! Ah! Uh, fuck! What are you doing here? Uh, I, I, I was uh, trying to tidy up uh, the, the, the kitchen. Don't stay up late again. Your work in the main house is done by nine. Exactly. Exactly. Welcome, honey. Thank you. Like vapor in the wind, everything is gone. And all you ever had is the memory of who you may never be. Yesterday I 
I dreamt of a better tomorrow, but today I'm freaking out. My world is falling down. Things are not the same. I have lost every little hope for tomorrow, cause today I'm freaking out. It feels like a heart attack. Oh, what is my crime? Why do you despise me so much? James. 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 Why are you screaming my name? You do realize it's late, right? You know it's late. You walked in here acting like you did not see me waiting up for you. Claire, I didn't ask you to wait up for me. You did that because you wanted to. Now listen, I have had the most stressful day and what I need right now is rest. And you are trying to deny me of that. Really? Yes, really. Unless you want to stay there and act like you don't know what I'm talking about or just act like I owe you an explanation. You know, I really wished I had died in that crush. What is the point leaving? when I literally have to beg for everything. For attention. For the air I breathe. And love from the one person that promised to love me to death to us part. Well, thank God you did not die. So now, can I sleep? Please? Follow me. So, have you cleaned all those places on this side? Yes, ma'am. You've cleaned them? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, what is this? I thought you said you've cleaned here. Ma, I, I cleaned it. Ma. Come on, shut up your mouth. You this local foul. You cleaned what? Look at you. Arguing, arguing, arguing with your miserable life. Come on, clean this place. Rubbish. Hey, what is it? What is this? What exactly do you want? What? Oh, you've suddenly gone, gone deaf, right? Screaming my name like you christened me. What is it I don't do for you? What do you want? Your cousin is here to help you. And if she can help you, you have a maid and you have a cook. Let me be. Claire. Claire. Huh? What is this? What is this? I keep telling you to, to tell mom about this, but you wouldn't listen. <gasps> James, James is just a brainless fish. I mean, we keep doing this to you if nothing is done about it. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. I won't let him hurt you. Okay? I won't. And you, what are you staring at? Come on, get back, get, 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 get back to work. Ew. It's okay. 
Stop. Please come inside. Thank you, Bonaventure. You're welcome. Um, I'm glad you you love it too. Yes, I did. The food is delicious. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud, you know, I'm very proud that, you know, you ate it and um, you are satisfied with the food. This is not normal in noodles, oh. I'm telling you, this is not uh, Lagos noodles. This noodles is uh, Afghanistan recipe. <laughs> but you don't worry, hmm? I'm going to prepare you a sumptuous meal for dinner. Yeah, then you know the reason why they call me water bombs here, telling you. <laughs> What's that? Oh, well, it's a name uh, when my father you know, tasted my meal for the first time. You know, she was like, ah, what a bombshell. So, you know, like, you know, people were <laughs> calling me, what a bombshell, 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 what a what a bombshell. No, 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 no. What a bombshell. It's a signature thing. You know, so, what, what, what a bombshell. <laughs> yeah, that's my, my name. Funny name, funny yeah. name. <laughs> no, well, I'll be, I'll be preparing more of the food for you to enjoy. <laughs> <clears throat> You're ready? Yes, my dear. I'm ready to go out. And you? Yeah. What are you doing here? Come on, pack this place and, and, and stop fooling around. It's yours. Nancy. What? Don't you think that was a bit too harsh? I don't just like his face. Yet you enjoy his meal. Because I enjoy his meal, that doesn't mean I should like him. And besides, he's doing his job. I guess that's the only thing your good for nothing husband ever did. Nancy, watch it. It's my husband you're talking about here. Then tell me. Tell me, Claire, what else does he do apart from being a figurehead husband? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Anyways, <laughs> I'll be going out with a few of my friends, but trust me, in no time, I'll be back. Come on, are you upset? Come here. <laughs> no, I love you. I'll be back. Bonaventure. <laughs> that situation. My brother, uh, that reminds me. Where is Claire? That one is there, big. What do you mean by that one is just there? Don't tell me you've been nursing that thought or the idea Ibro was trying to sell to you the other day. What do you mean? James, it is true things went a little off the road on a journey that was meant to be a smooth ride. <laughs> a little off the rail, you say. My life is hell as it is. I am not happy in that marriage. Hey, don't tell me you're trying to Dump her because life plays down that wheelchair. You don't even understand what you're saying. You don't understand that at all. Well, let me ask you. If you were in her place... Oh, God forbid. That is not going to happen. A wheelchair. And you think, she's, um, you think she's happy the way her life turned out to be? No, James, let me ask you. If things were reversed and you found yourself in her place, do you think she will ever think of leaving? I thought as much. Maybe you never really loved her. Maybe you married her just because of her. Uh... Oh, excuse me. My phone is ringing. Yeah, babe. All right, I'll, I'll just give me 10 minutes. Okay? All right. She's ready. I haven't been out here in a while. 
The air is fresh and clean. You never really asked. Who do I ask when my husband is always busy? No one on earth is too busy. No one is too busy for little things as this. You know, if he is too busy during the week, fine. But what about the weekends? You know, it's the little things that matters the most in life. No one is too busy to create time. I mean time for something that matters to them the most. They cherish it. You have a misconstrued personality. But then I am still trying to understand you. <laughs> well, um, I've heard that a thousand and one time. There's nothing to hide. I'm me. I'm Bono Venture. Bombshell worldwide. You know, life, life is too short to live at approval of men. I don't watch anybody. I don't watch no man. You're right. Don't worry, you, you, you'll be fine. Hmm? Uh, please take me around the house. Remember my name? Of course, only a foolish man will forget the name of a beautiful dancer like you. So, yeah, I'm flattered. <laughs> um, you must be Nick. I'm sorry, I don't recall the face. I'm Sophia. Sophia, that name rings a bell. Anyway, um, see you later, bro. Yeah, um, I'll join you. All right, no problem. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, forgive my friend, Nick. Is... So how about we go out sometime? Wow, are you really asking me out on a date? Well, if you put it that way, yes. Okay, um, I have to check my shadow and let you know. Okay, that's fine by me. Um, the details, please. That's the only way to find out about your schedule. <laughs> Here you go. All right, then. I will call you. OK. Yeah, Take okay. care. Yeah. Of this rubbish. Eh? Tomboy, what is your problem? <coughs> eh? What is your problem? Uh, Madam, I, I was just. You what? Obviously, you can't figure it out. Because it's either you are coming out of insanity or you are sliding into it. Come on, get out of this place, my friend. Look at him, idiot. This boy is beginning to overstep his bounds in this house, and I won't take it. 
Nancy, why do you like making an issue out of nothing? Really? So you want him to insult you first before you know what's going on? Haven't you heard that young boys like this? That is what they do, especially when people like them. The guy is a nice fellow and a great cook. Mm. I hear you. <laughs> I trust the PhD level of James' jealousy will be very high. Unless maybe he doesn't know what's going on. And what's going on? You are asking me. <laughs> Baby girl, you better behave yourself. Especially around that guy. Couple yourself, oh, because <laughs> if anything happens, don't call me. Okay? <laughs> Where, wh why are you taking me inside? Because I have a sweet gift for you. I mean, you don't want to know how many guys to send me today. <laughs> Including one stupid dwarf. <laughs> well, he's a man and he loves what he saw. I beg you. I don't want one to start. is unpredictable would you believe me would you believe me the trials and sorrows are inevitable do you believe me would you believe me how do i explain yesterday i dreamt of a better tomorrow but today I'm freaking out. You seem to be enjoying the food. The world is falling down. Things are not the same. I have lost every little hope for tomorrow. Cause today I'm freaking out. It feels like a heart attack. Now I ask myself, what's the point of leaving? safe to say you owe me and I do not collect cash. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I only do cash. Really? Yeah. Specially selected. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, what do we toast to? Uh, to our new friendship. Hmm. I was thinking to pain and kind. Are you kidding? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Come on. <laughs> of course. It's just the way things are now. I'll make sure I sort them out, okay? Come on. Hmm? 
What would you expect? Um, I'll I'll call you back later. Okay. Ogo, it seems your husband is having an affair. Just so you know, put a check on him. You can go. What sort of stupid question is that? Please. Don't babe me. You, you, you come up to me, you ask me some dumb, stupid question that who knows where you got it from? Why don't you go back to your source, okay? Let them dig up proof. Since they're now the FBI or CIA or whatever you want to call them, huh? Nonsense. You know what? I'm sick and tired of everything happening in this house. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of your cousin. I'm tired of this house. And since I cannot find peace in my own house, I'll go and look for you somewhere else. Make sense. You will not leave this house. You are not going anywhere. Claire, let go of me. You will not leave this house. Claire, don't make me do something stupid. James, you will not leave this house. Will you get your hands off me? Get your hands off. You should go to bed. Not until I tell that fool that it is only cowards that hit their wives. Not necessary. Yes, it's necessary. Because if someone doesn't tell him, then he won't know how foolish he is. Is back. You. Nancy, please. Don't split me, Claire. Someone really needs to tell this coward who he really is. What's going on here? Claire, and who is she referring to? Oh, I am referring to you, you shameless nitwit. Hmm. What? Tell me. Shouldn't you be ashamed of yourself? Shouldn't you? So after putting her in this condition, you still treat her like garbage. When in reality, you are the trash. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Wait, you want to beat me? You want to beat me? Try it. 
Go ahead and beat me. James, go ahead and beat me. Try it, James. No. Just try it and see if I won't design your face for you. Are you okay? <laughs> you think I'm your wife, huh? You think I am your wife that you have reduced to your punching bag? Well, sorry to bust your bubble. <laughs> try me, James. Just try me. And I will make you regret the day that you came into our family house asking for a hand in marriage. Auntie, please. What? Claire, I want this out. Out of my house. You lie. James, you lie. I go nowhere. Rubbish. Can you imagine? Mm. You see this house? This house that my late uncle gifted you both. I die here. I go nowhere. What nonsense. <laughs> Can you imagine? Do you even know how much how much a block costs, let alone a bag of cement? Nancy, it's enough. It's not enough. Let me put him in his place. Claire, do you expect me to just fold my arms and watch him treat you like trash? Of course I'm not going to do that. I won't do that. Mm. Bona, Mitch. Mm -hmm. Bona. Oh. We see you cook. It's like food. Ah. <laughs> see, why they ask, they say, with what happened last night, mm -hmm. I know she was so bad with chop. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. I told you you won't eat the with that thing that happened last night. He won't. I don't even know why he treats her like that. And that's why the other day, he, he, he just pushed her from the wheelchair like that. I was like, ah, what's going on? Pusha, pushed her like that. Hmm. You see these quiet people, eh? That's why I don't like quiet people, no. Me too, me too, they'll be pressing your neck and be killing you. And they make you look like it's, it's, your, it's your fault. It's not, it's, not, it's not nice. There's no day. There's no day that you don't see madam crying. Crying, 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 crying. That's my wife. You see, that's why I like this Auntie Nancy. Mm. She's tough. Mm. She's a bombshell lady. That one, she'll just turn up to him like that. Hey, hey, like that. Hey. Nancy is a young lady. No nonsense lady. If you do any like this, you will see any. Me, if I'm in her shoes, God knows what like, I will do worse. Mm. Which kind of rock, rock, rock bitch is that one? I don't understand. You know, you're a man. You shouldn't lay your finger on a woman like that. Mm -hmm. It's no good. You see a woman, you use that. Bah. I, I, I don't know that. It's not good, Abby. It's not good. It's not that kind of thing. Mm. <laughs> hey, but me, eh? There's no oil on this area. That's why I love you. <laughs> eh? Um, just, just take a look at these two idiots. So you people are here talking about love. When you're meant to be working. Hmm? Mm. Tell me. Is that why they employed you? Now I ask myself, what's the point of leaving? Tell me, hey, mommy. What's going on here? Having a good time as always, homie. How you doing, man? I'm good. Hope you're not drinking yourself to sleep on. Nah, 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 I'm good. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Okay, so I just sign it and hand it over to her? That's all. Just sign it and then hand it over. And that'll be it. And what document are you talking about, if I may ask? None of your business.
James, are you out of your mind? My life, my business, stay out of it. Exactly. And you must be stupid by saying that. Hey! You need to watch your tongue, okay? Who the hell do you think you are to talk to me like that? And who the hell do you think you are to think that you can walk in and out of people's life like some marketplace? Do you have conscience at all? Hey, hey, guys, take it to you, Pio. No, James, let me advise you. You don't meddle and toy with people's emotion like there are some mannequins. Hey, baby! <laughs> to see you. Mm, same here. Oh, oh my god. So because of this stupid woman to throw away the love you profess to the wind. My brother, I pray you don't live to regret this. Okay? <sighs> Please ignore the phone. Okay? Mm. Have a seat. Thank you. Um, listen to me. Mama! Ignore this, this dude. You saw these motivational and, and, and marriage counselors. They will stop at nothing until they push into a ditch. <laughs> and then they are, you, you are stuck and they're happy. So let him go. What nonsense. Um, Bama. Please, let's get the lovely lady a drink. <laughs> and don't forget, myself as well. I need a bottle of champagne. I have signed the papers. And I'll advise you to do the same. I'm tired of it all. Everything. I'm tired. And I would just like to get on with my life. While I wait for you to sign them, I'll be putting my life in order. James. Iwa. Ijim. to do this. Is this the for better? For what you promised me? James? I have loved you from the day you whispered into my ears. That cold night, asking if I needed a jacket to keep me warm. I would have loved you till death if you were in my shoes. Hey, don't say that. Don't you ever say that. Never. Don't bring that up, God forbid, because I will never be in your shoes, ever! Did you ever love me? Whatever I feel for you, it's all in the past now. Well, I need to move on with my life. And that is priceless to me. I made you the man you are. I walked you through the refinery and made you 
the finished product. And is now the signature of all eyes. Claire. Claire. Claire, what is it? Did he hit you? Did that fool touch you this morning? Claire, talk to me. What is it? Just like that. Hmm. What do you mean by I told you? Huh? What do you mean by you told me? I just don't understand this man. Oh, because uh, this woman, her life has uh, turned out to be like this. That's why he wants to leave her and go for another woman. I, I just don't understand some men. Hmm. Which one you don't understand? Is that not how you people are? <gasps> men know how to distress and embarrass women. Hey? <gasps> that is why I'm just begging this God. Let this foolish heart of mine not go and fall in love with you. I don't, I don't understand. What's going on? Fall in love with me? How? I don't understand. What is it? What oh, don't you understand? Do you want me to spell it out for you? <gasps> Are you a baby? Hey, John. Hey. One, two, three. One, two, three. What a mom said. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Ijoma, you and I know that me and you, we don't like church. Hmm? You don't even know how to read the Bible. Me, I know how to read you know, the Bible slightly. So please stop talking in parables. You know, I don't understand. Whoa, whoa. It's, it's all right, it's all right. But tell me you will not start behaving like Oga. Me? Mm. Never in my life. Never in my life. See, me one day telling you, when a woman mistakenly fall in love with me, the way I would treat that woman, I would treat her like a queen, cherish her, eh? make, make her feel loved, loved, and like pamper her. No, no, I, I, I don't treat her like all oh, this, this, this woman, they treat this, this. Oh, no. oh is this because, because this woman, they, 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 they cripple, they sit on the future. Mm -hmm. Even if the person they work like this, they work like this. I like it. So, Bona, even if the person is deaf and dumb, you like the person like I'm that. I'm telling you, deaf and dumb, they are sweet and sexy. Imagine a deaf and dumb woman in love with you, mm -hmm. and you're making love with the person. See, you go, yes, yes. It's sexy. Mm -hmm. That's the word I like. Bona, you see, that is why I love you. I'm telling you, from the first day that I saw you. I fell in love with you and I still love you. You, you, you love me? Yes. Come, come, come. come. You love me? Yes. You like, look, 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 look like plantain chips. You like, you look like, me, like this. No, you can't love me. Why? Because you, I don't see love in your, I don't see the mirror of love, you know? I see you like plantain chips. You are not my taste. Bonasi, let me explain something to you. Some people experience love at first sight, like me, but it might be different for you. Hmm? See, let me tell you. My sister, Adora, she used to tell me something. She said, feeling good for some people. And I think you fall in that category of people, bro, nah. Hmm? I, I like it. You know, I like it when people have passion for love and ladies like you. Like you, I have for mm -hmm. you. But guess what? Mm -hmm. You are not my taste. I don't like you. You look like plantain chips. You know? Mm -hmm. you know so, you know, it's rather unfortunate. Sorry for the mess call. I'm not your taste. No. And who told you you have taste? Yeah? Let me tell you, you are tasteless like what are you? You're so nice, don't you? So because I told you I like you, your head is swelling. 
Let it not swell you. Let it not swell for any reason. Because I am trying very hard here to, to see if I can get something out of you before you start feeling like one important person. Okay? <laughs> this is a good offer. I am giving you a very good offer. So you better grab it now. <laughs> My sister, it's pain. Is, hmm? It's pain. It's pain is making you talk like you don't like me. Why you like me? But guess what? <laughs> I don't like you. Yeah? That's why you know you're going like this. See, uh, <laughs> it seems like uh, you've been watching too much of uh, more plays TV movies. Yes, Bruna. I watch all their movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why you're gabbing, gabbing. <laughs> my sister, you are not my taste. Mm -hmm. I don't like you. Mm -hmm. You look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is that plantation? You look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, is it not you they are calling? Oh. I beg get out soon. Uh, because I don't like you. Is it by force you like? Ma! For sad bread. Mm. been calling your phone and she said you're not picking up. You should pick her call. Don't want to. Claire. Claire, I keep telling you that James doesn't deserve your tears. He doesn't. I mean, James is just an ingrate. Hmm? Please stop crying. Anyways, I've always known he never loved you. Don't look at me. Just look at me. Tell me. Which man is going to love me in my condition, Claire. in this state? I have been confined to a wheelchair for life. And the doctor says I can never walk again, so who's going to love me like this? Shh. Don't say that. <laughs> but the doctors did not say you will never find love again. Come on. If I were you, hmm? I will erase every memory of that fool. I mean, it's even better you sign those papers and get your freedom. It's better. But what, what if he comes back to his senses? Oh, come on, Claire. What senses? What senses are we talking about? I mean, how can someone come back to what he never had? How? Claire, please be wise. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Claire, I have to go. I, I have to go. I honestly wish I could stay longer and be by your side. Oh, I understand. But I promise I will be back as soon as I'm done. And you must do me a favor. Stop crying. Okay? I think that should be more. Let me help you. Yeah. Hello, <sighs> mommy. My dear, I am definitely going to miss you. Don't worry, I'm going to be back soon, right? Thank you. I'm going to be back soon. Just going to be out for a few days. But I'll be back, okay? Thank you. <laughs> I'll miss you too. I know. <laughs> and you? 
you. Look, if you love yourself and this job, you better behave yourself. Okay? Because I'll be back. Uh, Ijoma, yeah. please take care of this house. Make sure you clean this house very well. Okay. And also take care of your madam. And in case you notice any rubbish from your gun, hmm? you have my number. Call me. Okay? Okay. All right, babies. Let me go, all right? My car is waiting. Bye. I'll call you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Behave yourself. Thank you. So tell me, how did a man like you learn to cook? You're shy. <laughs> uh, look, your food tastes really great. Did you go to any culinary school? No, I, I didn't. I learned everything from my mother. Yeah, she was a great chef. Was? Yeah, she's no more. She died. I'm sorry about that, but who are the they? Uh, it's, it's a long story. I, I have ample time if you don't mind sharing. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. It was on November. Twentieth, exactly fifteen years ago, my cousin was having a wedding. Life was so beautiful. We were only two kids and a lovely parent. That day, I was looking forward to see my cousins. When the wreck happened, it happened so fast. You know that day. Before I realized, I, I woke up in the hospital. Doctor told me that I, I've lost everything. And I was the only one left. I, I, I am so sorry. My mother, my mother was so beautiful. She loved me so much. You can imagine, I was so young. Uh, she pampered me so much. She taught me everything in the kitchen. How to cook and how to bake. So that's why I know how to cook and bake. I'm really sorry about that. You know, I lost my father and his driver in a car crash. In fact, I almost lost my life. This is the aftermath of the accident. Confined to a wheelchair for life. Life. Life is on the fair. All this while, I've, I've kept myself strong and stronger. Be strong. 
you know, sometimes I wish after the accident, even if my parents couldn't walk or talk, I would have supported them in any way I can. But, you know, the moments and the memories are very, very important. My parents were very, very rich. But look at me now, living, living like a pauper. What happened to your father's wealth? Ignorance. I was naive, you know. My, my uncles made me sign some unknown documents, which I know nothing of. Not knowing I was making me transfer all the companies, I mean, my father's company, and ownership to them. How old were you then? I was young. I was 16. I was 16, yeah. But you can take it up in court. I can't, I can't even afford a lawyer. Okay. What if I get you one? Are you going to get me a lawyer? I can do that. I will be so, so grateful. I will be grateful if you can get me a lawyer. You know, my uncle's killed the lawyer who was fighting for this case. Uh, yes, I, I, I can get you one. But do you have any documents in your care? I have, I have a document, you know, like my lawyer, he gave me a document that uh, okay. I kept all this while, so he's with me. Um, that's that's really good. Oh, yes. God. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you so so much. So I don't know if. Do you want to look at it? Or yes. Well, we'll do that with the lawyer. Okay. Okay. Yes. So you go now or later? Later. Later. One, two, two, three, four, five, Hey, my man. Wow. It's been ages. Jeez. How's it going? My man. Good to see you. Same here. It's, it's really been a while. I've been trying to reach you and I've not been able to. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, yes, the reason I, I was trying to reach you is um, I've got good news. Um, <laughs> I'll be getting married pretty soon to this beautiful lady here, Sophie, of course. You know her. And I wanted you to be one of the first persons that would know. Um, why do you have that look on your face? So it's true. You let clear. Look, look, look. I, I am not about all the clear talk anymore. Please. I am happy. And you're my guy. You should be happy for me that I found happiness. Hmm? <laughs> James, this is total madness. This happiness you seek at the expense of someone's mishap. I hope you find it. Look, 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 Nick. You're always very philosophical with your talk, OK? It's all right. I'm happy. You should be happy for me, OK? So you know what? Um, I've got a bunch of invites in the car. I can spare you one because you have to be at my wedding. Uh, babe, you just go around. I'll, I'll join you, right? Okay. All right, uh, uh, so let's get to the car. James. Dude. Nick, Nick. <laughs> Mommy. to get your mind off things. Your husband. I don't want to talk about him. I know but he's my friend. And when I see things going wrong, I always speak up. 
what about him? One, two, three. Do you know uh, August's uh, friend, mm -hmm. the doctor, mm. just told Madame that uh, Oga is going to marry his new baby? Mm -hmm. ah! What's what wrong with you? Why are you shouting like that? When I went to his in life, I'm telling you. Hey! Why are you people like this? Why, why are you making this wicked? Why, why is it so difficult for you people to stay with one woman? Why, why do people like this? How about you talk about I've been telling you countless times that whenever you are trying to talk about men, mm. don't hurt me, support me, mm. leave the rest. I'm a very romantic guy. The way I treat ladies, I cherish them. I make them feel like a queen. I, mean, I, I, I hate it when you try to, you know, generalize things. I'm different. Mm. What a bum shit. So you mean you're different? Yeah, no. You're not like all these other men? Never. Yeah. You're not like our guy? Oh, this is my If you did work, they walk back back. I approve it now. Prove it? Prove it. <laughs> how? I don't understand. <laughs> Prove it how? So nasty. <laughs> Just kiss me here. Mm. Then tell me, baby, I love you. I should what? Kiss you. You. Can't you believe it? Hmm? What a bombshell. I should kiss you. You, if I kiss you now, I will get all kinds of sickness now. Elephantiasis, syphilis, tetanus. You, I should kiss you. Jenny Obona, I used to think you have sense, so. Like, you know something. Do you know you're an empty head? Oh. You don't know anything. You cannot get cancer by kissing somebody. Oh, you, you, you can have these diseases. You cannot get any of them by kissing somebody. You, 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 I will get it. Oh, Lord, you, you don't ah. know anything. As you come and okay. kiss you. Today to contact cancer by kissing somebody. Olo do rabata. Look, look. Hey God. Hey. These men are wicked. Kai. Oh, man, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh -huh. Hey, baby. Hmm? How many days will you be gone? <laughs> days? Truth is, I will be gone for, say, about a month, maybe a week or two more. That long? Yes, babe. Listen, I need to take my time, especially because uh, my marriage is young. Well, yeah, and, and I, I need to convince them to believe in this. So I'm going to be here all alone. Look at you. Someone is missing me already. Good job. Uh, <laughs> but I can see it, I can tell. You know, I really can't wait to make this official. And I can't wait to have you all to myself. And that will happen soon, okay? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> you know what? I need to hurry. I don't want to miss my flight. Let me have that. I miss you. And I'll miss you too. See flight. Hey, hello.
Bon aventure. Quoi? Good morning. Ma. Good morning. How are you? I'm 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 fine. It's, are you are you fine too? Yes, yes. Um, I'm fine. I'm, I'm very fine. Uh, uh, you, no, no problem, Mom. I, I will, I will come, I will come back, okay? No, 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 no. I'm coming. Come, come. I'm, I'm fine. What is it? Um, I, I, I wanted to show you the, the original document of my father's company. Hand it over. Your full name again? Bonaventure Answer. And your father's name? Yeah, Levinus. Levinus Answer. Um, it, it, it's because I couldn't afford a lawyer, and uh, the last lawyer who paid me a visit told me I, I don't stand the chance of a winning. But you were only but a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A teenager. Of course. And your uncles took advantage of you. You know that? I, I hope you look into this. Oh, sure, of course I will. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Ishmael. Good morning. I was just about calling you. Yes. Exactly what I was going to say. I am no longer his guarantor. And if you want to go ahead to renew his contract with your company, then it's at your own risk. Okay. Thank you.
know it. I know everything is not all right. This chair doesn't limit you. You sit on this chair every day. It doesn't limit you at all. You can do anything. It's not necessary. It's not. You know, when I became of age, I found out what my uncles did to me. God, I, I hated them so much. I hated them passionately. I wanted to rip out the your heart from your chest. My plotted for this. Days became weeks. Weeks became months. And months became years. And the pain eased out. It eased out. For some reason, I came to believe that time, time heals wounds. What are you saying? What I'm trying to say is forget about everything and free yourself from the shackles. If you don't, you will continue to live in his prison. Yes. What do I do? It's very simple. Go out there. Free yourself. Embrace the environment. Breathe in and out. Life is too short. You know, the best gift you can give to yourself is happiness. Happiness. is unpredictable would you believe me would you believe me the trials and sorrows are inevitable do you believe me would you believe me how do i explain yesterday i dreamt of a better tomorrow but today I'm freaking out My world is falling down Things are not the same I have lost every little hope for tomorrow Cause today I'm freaking out It feels like a heart attack Now I
tomorrow, but today I'm freaking out. My world is falling down. Things are not the same. I have lost every little hope for tomorrow, cause today I'm freaking out. It feels like a heart attack. The number you have reached has been disconnected. The number you have reached has been disconnected. Juma, what kind of uh, question are you asking? What, what, what is this? Why are you asking? Are you asking me? No, are you asking me? Since, since we are going to come out, you just enter in room, they come out. I sit down and a get in room. Habi? At all? What? My, 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 my sister, please. I hate people who are jobless. I'm telling you, mind your own business. If you are jobless, you find something to do and mind your business. I'm telling you. Okay? Make a mind my business. Yes. Make a mind my business. Sure. So because you hear say, Oga won't marry another person, you won't come go replace her. And you think say you are to be like this if you replace her. Eh? What 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 wait, what kind of stupid question? Are, are you stupid? Are you stupid? You are stupid though. Stop shouting. Am I shouting? Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Who is stupid? Eh? See, let me tell you. That thing you think you know, I know it more than you. I know your game plan. And let me tell you, it will not work. And if I say nothing, I will call her. And when she comes there, you know what she will do? What would she do? What? She, she will do nothing. Uh, she will do nothing, I'm telling you. Why are you shouting? Oh, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Am I sleeping with her? No, am I? Am I no, you're sleeping with her. You're sleeping with her. You're the one telling me. Did you not say this to me? Your ashes. Your ashes are telling me. I know, see, you are the one saying it now. Uh, that is what you say. I did not say that you're sleeping. It's you that say you're sleeping with her. So that is what you're doing. <laughs> you, don't worry. Wait, let me call her. You will see what happens. Hard girl, mind your business. Push me again. Push me again. I think you can call my husband. Push, push me again. Push me again. Push me again. Hard girl, mind your business. Idiot. Fat idiot. Mumu. You think you can marry her? They can be yourself. God bless you.
yes, I am going to go ahead with the wedding. Totally. Yes, it is my life, my choice. I choose my happiness. You don't know what I've been going through. You cannot tell me where, where the source of my happiness is going to come from, okay? You are not in my shoes. You're not the one spending time with her. You don't know what I go through, okay? Don't jinx me! Don't! You're not the one putting up with her, okay? So don't! Look, whatever. My life, my business. You know what? I'm done with this. All rubbish. Everybody calling me, telling, telling me all sorts of rubbish. Are they, are they the ones that, that are going to put up with someone who cannot work for the rest of her life? You will call me from now to tomorrow. I am not going to answer you. Rubbish. <laughs> Sending me a message. I should check my mail. <laughs> this has to be some sort of joke. <laughs> Mr. Ishmael, what's going on? I got your message and I checked my mail. What do you mean it wasn't your call? What do you mean you're sorry? Is this some sort of joke? After everything I have done for this organization, this is how they repay me. After all the hard work, So... What did I just see? It's baby, it's not what you think. And what exactly do you think I'm thinking? Huh? How long have you guys been doing this? Oh, no, nothing has been going on. I, I, I didn't know you were going to come back so soon. I thought you said you are going to spend like a month or something. Are you listening to yourself? Can you hear how stupid you sound? Ibu! You! I, I can explain this. Just, just come down. Explain what? How dare you?
Oh, that, ma Madam say you no go fit come house soon. That's your house. Madam say you you no fit enter the house. Hey, Oga, beg now. Oga. What's going on here? What does it look like? Greg, what? I mean, what's going on? What, what is this fool doing? What? Watch your tongue. Robert. You're stupid. Like I said, watch your tongue. You must be freaking insane. How dare you? Oh, really? One, two, three. I have waited for this day for long. Babe, there is an envelope in my wardrobe. Can you get it for me? Anything for you, my queen. Hey, cool. You don't have to stoop so low. I'm sorry I didn't mean it that way. I'm sorry. We can't work things out. I'm changed. I'm not that person. Look, I still have, I still have a hard ring. That's the useless ring you put on my finger. And that paper is the divorce you asked for. I have willingly signed it because I have found love again in the least of all places. Let's talk this out. I can explain things. There is nothing for us to talk about. You and I are history. Don't, don't, babe, I was joking the whole time. For real. Joke? You treated me like trash. And you call it a joke? I almost lost my life. I was losing my sanity. Do you know how many times I almost took my life and here you call it a joke? <sighs> Please don't blame me. I, I, I just don't, love. I don't blame you. And I can't blame you. I blame love. Else what would I be doing with his comeback like you? Madam, I call me. Yes. Go in and get his things. Oh, come on, Craig. It hasn't come to that. It hasn't come to that. We, we, we can work things out. Please. Get out of my house. Craig, come on. Come on. Hey, don't, don't do this. Claire, I'm so much in love with you. Come rain or shine, 
I'll be with you forever. To death do us apart. It's beautiful. I just want to let you know. Will you marry me? Will you marry a cripple like me? My goodness, what is wrong? What? And what is going on here? Nancy, he proposed. What? Who? And you? Who gave you the impetus Nancy. to do that? Please. This is not the right time for you to do this. This is the happiest day in my life. And I will not have you ruin it for me. Hey. I love you. Will you marry me? Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> yes. Baby. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. This is not the time to apportion blame. So what would you have me do? Help me talk to my wife. I can't do that, James. Nick, please. I will be a fool if I do that. You had a good woman. He threw her to the wild. Left her in the cold. All for what? I was stupid. I made a mistake. No. You were more than stupid. You were wicked. You trashed her out when she needed you the most. Now we want her back. In case if you've forgotten, you were the one who served her the divorce paper. And if you think you will rope me into it again, <laughs> then you don't know me. Claire is happy with that man. If you think you truly love her, let her be. Because that man loves her so much. And he has done more than you can ever do. Channel your attention elsewhere. What if I told you Vigans. life is unpredictable? Would you believe me? Would you believe me? The trials and sorrows are inevitable. Do you believe me? Would you believe me? How do I explain? Yesterday I dreamt of a better tomorrow. But today I'm freaking out. My world is falling down. Things are not the same. I have lost every little hope for tomorrow. Cause today I'm freaking out. Tell me. Tell me it was a stunt. That you just, you just wanted to make a fool of James. I know you don't like him. But I love him. And that is all that matters. And he loves me too. You love him? Claire, can you hear yourself talk? See? I fell in love with his heart. He has been there for me. He loves me without reservation. The last few moments I've spent with him has been so beautiful. I can't even tell you how much I feel alive. Please, don't judge me. And don't blame me too. It is him my heart chooses. And there's nothing I can do about it. Blame 
love for choosing that beautiful soul. not judging you. I am disappointed. Yes. But I want you to be happy. I want you to be really happy, Claire. And if, if he's the one that, that's going to make you happy, I have no choice but to accept him. I really, really love you, Claire. I really do. Barista, hope there is no problem. Oh, sure. I'm sorry if I interrupted anything. Mm. Mr. Bonaventure Answa. Of course. I came to inform you that the court has finally given its verdict. Answa Technologies now belongs to you. Uh, congrats. What? Wait. <coughs> Are you trying to tell me that Antwerp, I mean Antwerp Technologies, belongs to him? Absolutely. Claire? Yes. <laughs> so confused. <laughs> Ah, I should be on my way now. I will see you in court for final verdict. Ha <laughs> ha
Cause today I'm freaking out 